Washington. So let's start showing the rankings this week's college football playoff rankings brought to you by Capital One. Iowa State, after its loss to Texas, they hang in there at number 25. Pittsburgh going to the ACC championship game. Four losses there and there as well. That's a top 25 win for UCF, but also one for Notre Dame. It, it, it's crazy to see this year the four lost teams that are being ranked. I mean, you look in the past and just... I don't think that would have happened consistently, but now three and four lost teams, they've, they've ranked them because they feel like they're better. That's okay. And how about Utah State and Boise State? That's a great matchup this weekend in the Mountain West. And if UCF were to slip up in one of their two final games, maybe against Houston in a conference championship game, the winner of this game between Utah State and Boise State could be the group of five team playing in a New Year's Six Bowl game. It, yeah, if, yeah, if you get that slip up and if they were to slip behind the winner of the American, or if it's not UCF, it could have, they would have to jump one of those two teams. Counting it down from 20, Syracuse plummeted down eight spots from 12 to 20 after getting blown out by Notre Dame Northwestern's in the Big Ten championship game. And the mighty Utah student section on its way to the Pac-12 championship Yeah, game. Utah without Tyler Huntley comes out and plays a terrific game against Colorado. Surprise everyone that they blew them out. I, I thought they would win, but a blowout. Utah getting some respect even without their starting quarterback and Tyler Huntley who went out. Speaking of respect, how about Northwestern finally getting up into the top 20? I thought it was finally. great. Pat Fitzgerald came out and publicly said how frustrated he was that they were being disrespected going into Minneapolis to play Minnesota. And they took care of business. They continue to take care of business and, and we're going to finish 8-4 and four and probably up near the top 15 in the country as they get ready for the Big Ten Championship. And their protest was coming out shirtless for warm-ups. That's how they made their statement. It's pretty outstanding. They should have taken their shirts yeah. off before they played Akron. Touche. Touche. Reese is on fire. Reese is on fire earlier tonight. Hey, it's getting late. Washington, shot. Washington 16 is important, too. Yep. Apple Cup yep. coming up. Yep. Obviously, Washington State a chance to make another make some head. It's late in the season. I ain't got time for their foolishness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, I, fully, I fully understand where you're coming from, Reese. But I, I am happy to see Washington at 16. Yep. I, I think that, you know, as we talk about this, Washington State team, which everyone's looking at them saying they're a terrific team, they get another chance to prove it against number 16, yeah, Washington. Let's Washington. get into the top 15 here. You're right about Washington, by the way, and they've had Washington State's number. Kentucky uh, hanging around. Really good season for Stoops and the guys in Lexington, Texas. Going to have a chance if they can beat Kansas to go on and play in the Big 12 championship game against either West Virginia or Oklahoma. West Virginia falling after that uh, heartbreaking loss and thrilling game against Oklahoma State. Yeah, and it's big for Oklahoma having West Virginia at 13. If they can get that win and then get avenge, really, their only loss of the year against Texas in the Big 12 title game, that's all the ammo they're trying to build up to make a case for themselves against the potential Big Ten champion. And a three-loss Penn State team being at number 12 is going to matter to the Big Ten champion eventually if it comes out of the East especially. You know, as we look at these resumes in Ohio State and Michigan, if whoever wins that game, if you look at their resume moving back, that Penn State being at number 12 is important. And if we're thinking about and we're talking about Washington State versus Oklahoma, those are those teams in the next realm, look at Oklahoma has left. They could possibly have West Virginia and Texas left. Right. So we might look at that and say, we think Washington State's a more complete football team. They got some chances right there. Oklahoma does some big chances to make a statement to teams that matter to the committee. I don't think there's any question that the resume is going to look better for Oklahoma yeah. if the Sooners uh, can get there, beat West Virginia on the road, and then get to the Big 12 championship game and win that. Let's look at the top 10. At number 10, Ohio oh, State. Oh, you, so know, that we means, you know what that means. Yes, yes, it does. That means it's UCF since, is man, UCF. I mean, yeah. it, it, it hasn't happened since 2015 where a group of five has jumped a, a power five team that have both won. So Ohio question. State, if you look at that win by Ohio State, yeah, shaky. Herbie, you want in here on that? No, I was about to say, he said they, they've never seen a group of five. You're about to see a group of five jump up in here. They, and like we said before this, this started, they, they deserve it. They deserve to move up. As much as how Ohio State has looked and, and combine that with how UCF has looked. So this is, this is uh, deserving wherever they end up here. At number nine, in front of the Buckeyes is UCF. What do you think about that? At 10-0, you know, Michael Resco, the commissioner of the American, made a, a really insightful comment about respect coming in increments. This is one of those moments. Right here. It's not just winning at Cincinnati. It's not just college game day and 20,000 people or whatever it was. Here's a step up. Move up the two spots. Only one of them because the team in front of them lost. This is a sign of respect. But I think you have to give Josh Heupel and you see sure. a ton of credit, guys. It was a huge stage for them and an opportunity really to showcase their brand. I'd argue that outside their win against Pitt, 
That was the best win they had all year against a ranked team. And looking better every week. Yeah, just balanced on offense and defense, the way they're playing. I think Special it's a teams was awesome. I think I, it's a combination of who they played and the way they look. They deserve I know, it. I know Pitt's ranked now. Hey, I think that hey. Cincinnati win was better than the win against Pitt because of Pitt then, you know, wasn't playing. He just gotten beat by 45 by Penn State. That went, Cincinnati was playing well. That was a really good win Saturday night for UCF, Kirk. Yeah, and Reese, I would just add to that, but I, I, I think it's the, the scheme that they run, the quarterback that they have, the speed around that quarterback that they have, and I, as you guys touched on, special teams, defense, and it's not just, to me, I don't, give, I don't care about a 23-game win streak. This has to do with this team right now, where they're playing, how they're playing, and comparing them to these other teams that are hovering at 7, 8, 9, and 10. And like I said, I, I wouldn't have any problem with them up above Oklahoma, but for now they got to sit here at number 9. Odds maker that we all know, Danny Sheridan, uh, said last year's UCF team would be a double-digit favorite over this year's UCF team. Washington State still at number 8. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. I'm not very surprised. Uh, LSU still sitting there at number seven, I'm, I'm assuming. But this Oklahoma team, they've been the same team all along. And so they didn't show us anything different than giving up 40 points to Kansas. That's what they've been. Yeah, there's LSU still sitting at number but seven. I thought Washington State would go past it, It's also so fair to say this. That's LSU's ceiling. They're, they're only going to go back. Yeah, so all these teams right. behind them have opportunities to climb. Washington State beats Washington. There is no reason on God's green earth that LSU should be above them. Last time we talked about the Bayou Bengals, so congratulations to them. <laughs> Great right? season. Teams are going to start going past them. Let's look at the top teams at number one. Alabama remains number one, tied at halftime with the Citadel, and then scored like 40 in a row. Clemson is number two, also a little sluggish against Duke early, and then blew out the Blue Devils a little bit later on. Both have rivalry games coming up, fighting Irish Day at number three. Uh, Notre Dame, they beat USC over lot and well deserved by the way that was a very very strong performance against syracuse and yankee stadium at number four we assume michigan's going to stay there and they do wolverines an opportunity against ohio state to break that losing streak georgia hey, even if georgia fans think they ought to be number four doesn't, doesn't matter. matter we're going to play alabama in the sec championship game and get your chance and oklahoma uh, proving that you can indeed give up 40 to kansas and still hold your spot as long as you have Tyler Murray putting up all the numbers that he puts up. So, Kirk, 